Hello, DKG sisters. I'm Kathy Tenney coming to you live from Sydney, Ohio. I am honored and privileged to be able to serve all of the members of Ohio State Organization, DKG, as editor of The Voice. I would like to take this opportunity to encourage all of our members to submit photos of their chapter's various activities throughout the year by the 15th of each month, along with a brief description of the activity to be used in The Voice. Email those pictures and captions to me at editor at dkgohio.org. What a great way to showcase what your chapter is doing and maybe provide inspiration to another chapter for a new project. Now, I would like to share a bit of my DK journey. 38 years ago, I was invited to become a member of the Beta Kappa chapter. I was honored to become a member, an honor that I did not take lightly. I had been a recipient of beta, a Beta Kappa grant in aid during my senior year of college, which helped me reaching my goal of becoming a classroom teacher. I actively served Beta Kappa as recording secretary, editor of our newsletter, and webmaster of our chapter website. In the past, I have also served as chapter president. DKG has been about much more than monthly meetings. I have grown and benefited from the knowledge of other, that others have shared, inspired by speakers, to be a better teacher and human being, as well as to be give back to the organization that I feel has given so much to me. I was a recipient of a state scholarship in the mid 80s from Alpha Delta State while working on my master's degree. Last spring while attending the 2019 state convention, I learned OSO was looking for a new editor of The Voice. I saw this as an opportunity to give back as well to be as well as to be involved at the state level. Several of my chapter sisters encouraged me to go for it. It was one of the best decisions I have ever made. A very special thank you to Eileen McNally, who has become my mentor and extremely helpful whenever I have questions while working on The Voice. I would also like to say thank you to Norma Kirby, who proofreads every issue of the newsletter before it goes out to the membership and to our president Diana Kirkpatrick for her leadership of our state organization especially during this current crisis as I'm sure it has not been an easy task. Until we are able to meet together again in person I will leave you today with the following. Make the time to reach out and call someone. Sure, texts and emails are a great way to stay in touch, but there is nothing more special or personal than when you hear a person's voice on the other end of that line. Call a DKG sister, a friend, a neighbor, or even a family member just to say hi and see how they are faring. Take care, be safe, and stay healthy.